Alright, to do this, to replace your chemical pump, you'll need a, a quarter inch a nut drive, or you could use a regular uh, quarter inch wrench, but, and then a 5 8 to get through this. This is your chemical pump. We're gonna remove and reinstall. Seven sixteenths. Take out the barb. Now I'm about to take out the bushing. This one doesn't have the quarter inch, uh, the 45 degree angle. So if y'all have the 45 degree angle, y'all make sure that y'all hold that 45 to unscrew the hose, which is 11 sixteenths. But this time not. Now, between the pump itself and the chemical pump, there's a nipple, and it, it is a 5 8 as well. Now on this part you're gonna need a uh, a vise. All right, we're gonna need a crescent wrench to take this the top part off. And inside here will be your disc and diaphragm. Your diaphragm, new disc. Check valves. The check valves make sure it has the O-ring. Make sure there's no uh, rubber stuck in between where it sits. Clean that out the best you can. Other side has check valve as well. As you see, the check valve is different. It is not sitting inside this cap. It's in here because you have only a one way for your chemical. Now if your diaphragm is torn from the edges, always get like a small pin to push through because they'll get stuck inside. So once you clean those little holes out, then you'll be good to 
rebuild everything back up with new new stuff. And always check your O rings as well on the caps. Now put it back together. Valve will go with the seal because where the O ring will sit right here on the edge. Put your disc in first, diaphragm, put the cap, oh and also blow out the holes through here. Now we could reinstall it back to the pump. For installing, always make sure you know which way your check valve is going. This is going to be out. This is going to be in. You can tell the difference from the where uh, the steel sits. Or you can mark it if you want. Put a little arrow. Put your Teflon.
uh, here in the barn. Rebuilt pump. 